you see these images of a blue marble floating in the blackness of space, and it is emotional. You have this blue ocean that dominates the image, and you realize that this is really uh, not planet Earth, but planet ocean. You know, the story of climate change really is ocean change. I managed a program at NASA to develop new ocean color satellites. The satellites look down at the surface of the ocean and measure the amount of light coming out in different colors. The more productive an ocean is, the greener it is. The difficulty is once you launch a spacecraft into orbit, all bets are off. Vehicle is fully armed. Add ignition. It's uh, very difficult to go check up on it. I was interested in trying to solve this problem. That's when I started Satlantic. <laughs> we developed a sensor to determine if the satellite was performing properly. For many, many years, we sold all over the world to people that we had some contact with through the Halifax community. 25 years after Marlin started the company, collaboration is still our lifeblood. To have the collaboration between academia, the private sector, government, so that you can bounce ideas off each other and learn from each other, those types of things are only gonna help. In 2010, Wet Labs was purchased by Seabird, and then in 2011, Satlantic joined, so the three companies together formed what's now called Seabird Scientific. Seabird Scientific wanted to have a presence in Halifax because Halifax is one of the few ocean technology hubs in the world. Some of our customers are working on some of the hardest real world problems in the world's oceans and coastal waters. Without Seabird Scientific, it would not be possible.